we're going to talk about a theory for gases, uh, kinetic molecular theory. Kinetic refers to motion, molecule is a molecule. So we're talking about the, the movement of molecules um, to explain the behavior of gases. And this works for, for many conditions. Um, it's not perfect, no model is. It breaks down under certain conditions, but we're not going to worry about that. One nice thing about Chem 3A is we can kind of ignore some of the um, icky exceptions to rules. So here's a summary of kinetic molecular theory. This is that gases are a collection of particles, and those particles are constantly moving. The particles could be atoms or molecules. Um, the second thing is that there's no attraction or repulsion between the particles. So when they have collisions, they bounce off of each other like billiard balls. They just bounce off. They don't stick. They don't hang out and talk. They just bounce off of each other. Third idea is that there's, um, oops, wrong screen, a lot of space between the particles compared to the size of the particles themselves. So here we see the, the particles are this size, and there's a lot of space until the next particle. This is not true of liquids and solids where the particles are touchingly close. And the fourth idea is that the speed of particles increases with increasing temperature. So the hotter the gas, the faster the particles are moving. And this is consistent with um, observed properties of gases. We know that gases can be compressed. Right? You can compress a gas into a smaller space. So here we have a gas in a, um, a container with a movable piston lid. And if you push down on that, you can push the gas particles closer together. You can do that because there's a lot of empty space in the gas. You can't do that with a liquid. The liquid particles are already touchingly close. And so if you push down on them, they can't get any closer. They're already as close as they can get. And, and that is an important principle in hydraulics. If you put pressure on a liquid in a tube, the pressure gets transferred to the other end of the tube. Gases take on the shapes of their containers. So the particles in this gas are constantly moving. They collide with things, but they bounce off. And so in the process of that, they are zinging around in this container. They're not going to stay in the bottom of the container like a liquid would. They're not attracted to each other. They're moving independently. They're in constant motion. Gases have low densities because there's so much empty space. It's a little hard to understand how much less dense a gas is. So. This is a great analogy. If you took one can of soda and made that into a gas, the gas would occupy the space of 1,700 cans of soda. So the gas would be 1,700 times larger in volume. That's pretty big. Gases are much less dense, very low densities.